Bradley here. Tonight's Heart of America, and we meet the NASA scientists who repaired a spacecraft from 15 billion miles away, the Voyager 1. On a quiet stretch of data received from the farthest reaches of space, a signal was intercepted that sent a chill down the spine of everyone monitoring Voyager 1. The spacecraft, humanity's most distant emissary, had transmitted something subtle but unmistakably final. For decades, Voyager 1 has been our silent observer, drifting in the vast, cold vacuum beyond the outermost boundaries of the solar system. Its endurance was a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity. But that last signal, it was not merely a drop in communication or a garbled message from the edge. It was a clear, ominous confirmation of what had long been suspected yet deeply feared. Voyager 1 had reached the end of its voice and possibly the end of something far more profound. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The signal was a mere whisper compared to what had been received in years past. Analysts noted its structural degradation, the fading consistency of its pulse, and a distinct shift in the telemetry that suggested the probe systems were not simply failing, but encountering something anomalous. Not mechanical exhaustion, but rather the kind of interference or suppression that cannot be explained by distance alone. It was as though the spacecraft had crossed into a domain where our rules, our physics, our expectations no longer applied. There was something unnatural in the way the signal died, something intentional. Voyager 1 has been traveling for over four decades, launched in 1977, and now billions of miles from Earth. Its instruments, originally designed to last a handful of years, continued to function long past their expected lifespan. It passed Jupiter, Saturn, and eventually pierced the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. And then, for years, it wandered in the void between stars, continuing to report back with precious data from a realm never before touched by human technology, that is, until now. For months leading up to the final signal, engineers and scientists observed fluctuations in the probe systems. Communications became erratic, data packets returned with strange latencies. Some subsystems inexplicably cycled on and off, despite no commands issued from mission control. Power levels dropped in unpredictable bursts and instruments began to register readings that defied known cosmic conditions. Yet despite these oddities, the team remained hopeful. After all, Voyager had defied expectations so many times before. But when that last signal arrived, a warped, diminishing echo filled with static and a strange harmonic resonance, hope gave way to grim realization. This wasn't just a mechanical failure. It wasn't the long-anticipated battery drain or a breakdown of the RTG's radioisotope thermoelectric generators that had been powering the craft since its launch. The timing, the nature of the signal, and its abrupt cessation suggested interference, perhaps even interception. Theories that had lived on the fringe of scientific thought now surged into uncomfortable relevance. Some postulated that Voyager 1 had encountered an artificial boundary in deep space. Others speculated that it had brushed against an intelligence, something capable of observing and perhaps responding to the intruding Earth-born probe. What Voyager 1 encountered may never be known, not precisely. But the implications of its silence have reignited long dormant fears and questions. Humanity has often peered into the night sky and wondered if we were alone. We sent Voyager out as a kind of message in a bottle, equipped with the golden record. A symbolic attempt at contact, at peaceful introduction. But what if someone received it? What if something noticed us because of it? The dread now, palpable among some of the mission's original scientists and their successors, is that we might not have been ready for an answer. There is no confirmation of a hostile force, no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial action. But the unmistakable truth is this. The final signal wasn't just the absence of communication. It was an active disruption. The team that decoded the transmission noted frequencies not used by Voyager systems, spikes of energy outside the known radio bands, and faint modulations that suggested some form of manipulation. These are not the death throes of a machine merely aging into oblivion. They are the signals of interference, of an intrusion into our clean, calculated expectations. For decades, the silence of deep space had been comforting, a sign that we could explore without consequence. Voyager 1 symbolized the purity of discovery, curiosity detached from threat. 
but the end of its voice introduces uncertainty. The boundaries we crossed may have been more than spatial. They could have been territorial, even taboo. Voyager wasn't just leaving the solar system, it was stepping into a greater galactic stage, possibly unwelcome, possibly warned. The scientific community is divided. Some urge caution, suggesting natural explanations, unknown cosmic phenomena, electromagnetic distortions from interstellar plasma, or simple systems fatigue. But even the most grounded engineers admit that nothing they've seen aligns with known failure patterns. And then there's the matter of timing. Just when it passed a theoretical threshold beyond the heliosheath, all anomalies began. A signal not decreasing due to distance, but shifting, distorting, as if something was trying to overwrite or scramble it. The questions now are no longer just about Voyager's condition, but about our own. What else have we sent beyond our planet without understanding the implications? What signals have we beamed into space, not realizing who or what might be listening? The final moments of Voyager 1 are not just the loss of a spacecraft. They are the loss of certainty. The idea that we could explore the stars with impunity, that we could send out ambassadors of metal and message and remain distant observers has been challenged. Something somewhere might have responded. And if that's true, then our cosmic anonymity is over. There's also the philosophical weight to consider. Voyager 1 wasn't just a machine, it was a symbol. Its final message, now archived and endlessly analyzed, is a haunting record of a boundary crossed. Not the kind of border you can map, but the sort that exists in myth and fear. The edge of the known, the frontier of safety. Like ancient mariners fearing the edge of the world, we have now sent our voice into a place where silence has meaning. And that silence has spoken back, not with words, but with absence. Surgical, intentional, and complete. If Voyager 1 encountered something sentient, what happens next? If the signal was silenced by a decision, by a consciousness capable of recognizing our craft, then we are no longer passive watchers. We are participants in a larger system we do not yet understand. For decades, the Fermi paradox has posed a question. If the universe is so vast, where is everyone? Perhaps Voyager 1 just stumbled on the answer. Perhaps everyone is out there, but staying quiet. Perhaps they saw us speak and decided it was time to listen. Or worse, time to act. What is especially unsettling is the idea that Voyager the 1st of May not have been alone. That as it traveled, it was observed. That its presence was not ignored, but tracked. Its simplicity may have betrayed it. An unshielded, unsophisticated signal drifting through interstellar space like a flare in the dark. If someone was watching, they saw our craftsmanship, our intent, even our culture etched in gold. The record spoke of Earth, of peace, of math and music. It spoke of us. That voice may have reached ears we never intended, and those ears may have judged. This isn't science fiction. It's a real probe, built by human hands, launched with real hopes, now silenced by forces unknown. The final signal marks a point in human history that might be seen one day as a threshold event. The moment we stopped being alone, or at least the moment we proved we were not. Voyager 1's journey had always been a one-way path, a slow vanishing into eternity. But now, that path may loop back on us, not with a reply, but with consequences. The silence left in Voyager's wake is not just the absence of data, it's a presence of mystery. Engineers continue to analyze telemetry, digging through data streams for missed clues. Astrophysicists are combing the region of its last known position, hoping to detect anomalies that could explain what happened. But so far, no answers. Only more questions, and the growing sense that something final has occurred. There's no protocol for this. No button to press when a probe possibly encounters the unknown. Voyager was never equipped to defend, to evade, or to interpret contact. It was a messenger, vulnerable by design. And now, its voice is gone. The last signal remains on file, studied by minds from around the globe, each trying to determine whether it was a mechanical hiccup or the digital footprint of a crossing into something else entirely. In the silence that follows, humanity is left to reckon with its place. Voyager 1 was always a mirror as much as a beacon reflecting who we are and what we strive to become. Its sudden final silence could be a warning, or merely the natural end of an extraordinary journey. But either way, it changes things. The stars no longer seem like empty lights. They feel like eyes, watching, waiting, perhaps deciding. 
Voyager 1 didn't just transmit its last message, it delivered a moment of reckoning. A moment when exploration collided with the unknown. And now, somewhere out there in the ink-black space between stars, its silent body drifts. Possibly seen, possibly known, but certainly never alone again. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's final signal? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.